good morning children hope you all are enjoying along with doing studies in my previous two sessions of english i have discussed about phonetics and the importance of spoken english today i will be discussing with you all another very interesting aspect of english which is vowels or vowels now vowels you all know are a e i o u these are the five letters who form as vowels amongst the 26 alphabets and in almost all the words except a very few in almost all the words you will find that these vowels are used today we will be discussing the use of these vowels in some of the words first we will begin with the words containing the vowel or vowel a right see the first picture what is that which is that this animal it's a cat right so the first letter will be c then a right here you will write a c and in the middle it will be an a so we will get cat similarly the second one is b a t bat you have to write a everywhere in the center similarly the third one r a t rat and the fourth one m a t mat right children you have to write a everywhere in the center right here also you will write an a right now we move to the next list which is of the words containing e alphabet e now see the first picture very clearly right what is there it's a hen what is the spelling of hen h e n right similarly the second picture what is that it's a pen p e n pen see in all these the third picture is of a jet see third picture is of a jet so what you will write in the blank e j e t jet and the fourth picture is of net right n e t net right now we come to the third list which is of the words containing letter or vowel i right we will write i like n i b nib now the second one is a little tricky here in the it's a kite so here what is the spelling of kite k i t n e so we will write i here and we will write e here right third one is a bird b i r d bird so what is this fourth one it's a zip z i p zip okay children very good now the next list is of those words which contain vowel o like the first one this pick is of a cow c o w cow the second one is of d o g dog now the third one there are two vowels here what is this this is a nose n o s e nose right children now what is this fourth one this is rose right you will write it similarly r o s n e rose 
right so okay now the this list is of those words which contain vowel u right which contain vowel u now the first one is a little tricky the diagram is of a ball it's not u here you will put a because if we put u here it becomes bull b u l l and the pick is not of bull it's of a ball now the second one what is this what is it it's a gun g u n gun now the third pick what is that this is a jug and this it's a sun it's the sun s u n sun right children so can we can you repeat after me the words the words what are words words are a e i o u only five letters now what is this it is a cat c a t cat here the vowel a is in between c and t in the second picture this picture is of a hen and what is its spelling h e n right okay now we move to the third picture it's a nib n i b nib then a cow here the vowel is used is which is used is o c o w cow and last but not the least is u right see this picture this is of a gun g u n gun okay children is it clear so with that we move to the next chapter now this chapter is about the use of a and an right a and an right so read the point number 1 it says a is used before the words having first letter a consonant what is a consonant consonant there are 26 alphabets now these alphabets contain five vowels a e i o u right these are the five letters apart from these five the 27 21 letters which remain in the alphabet they all are consonants right b c d f g and all that they are all consonants right so a is used before a consonant and an is used before the words having first letter of a vowel or vowel just see here for example b is a consonant the picture is of a boy right so a is used the picture is of a cat c a t the first letter is c so a is used Th this picture is of a mango the spelling of mango is m a n g o it begins with m m being a consonant so we will use a now see here this is the diagram this is the picture of ant what is the spelling of ant it is a let me expand this ant is written as a n t right it begins with letter a so we will use 
a n an ant right ant begins with a so we are using here an ant now what is this second picture it is often it's often ink pot it's often ink pot i n k i is a vowel so we will write an ink pot now the third picture is of orange o r a n g e it begins with letter o so we will write an orange is it clear to you all now we will practice it for the more right in this exercise we will have to fill it with a or an right you all will do it with me this exercise okay the first word is bat it begins with b which is a consonant so we will write a bat the second letter the second word is apple a p p l e it begins with alphabet a which is a vowel so we will write a n an apple the third word is girl g i r l it begins with letter g which is a consonant so we will write here a girl right the fourth word is umbrella it begins with u which is a vowel so we will write here an umbrella right similarly fan begins with f to hum log kya likhenge aage we will write a fan because f is a consonant orange begins with o so which is a vowel so we will write an right children rest exercise i am leaving it for you to complete right children is it clear so before a vowel we use an and before a consonant we use a or letter a now we come to the fourth exercise one and many means there can be one object or there can be many object when there is one object we will name it term it as singular or single and when there are many more many means more than one 2 3 4 there can be any number right then it is called to be a plural right so once again repeat with me one means singular and many means plural agar koi cheez ek hai koi picture kisi cheez ki agar ek hai to hum kahenge singular और अगर उस पिक्चर में वो चीज एक से ज्यादा है तो हम कहेंगे प्लूरल राइट सिंगुलर को प्लूरल बनाने के लिए वी यूज एस और ई एस राइट वॉट वी यूज वी विल यूज एस और ई एस टू कन्वर्ट सिंगुलर इन टू प्लूरल जस्ट सी दिस पिक्चर हियर दिस टू राइट when the picture is of having one object which is a bird it is written bird now in the corresponding picture here you can see the objects are three in number so a s is added and it becomes birds right pehle pehle usme ek chidiya hai to humne likha bird magar usi ke sath jo dusri picture hai उसमें तीन चिड़िया हैं तो हमने बर्ड में एस ऐड कर दिया और वो बन गया बर्ड्स राइट चिल्ड्रन इसी तरीके से उसके ठीक बगल में देखिए पहले उस पहली पिक्चर में केवल एक आम है तो हमने लिखा है मैंगो देर इज ओनली वन टू वी एव रिटन मैंगो इन द नेक्स्ट हियर देर आर फोर मैंगोज तो वी रिट we have added es and it becomes mangoes aur dusre picture mein char aam hain to humne es mango mein add kiya aur kya ban gaya wo mangoes 
राइट तो सिंगल सिंगुलर को प्लूरल बनाने के लिए क्या क्या ऐड कर सकते हैं हम हम एस ऐड कर सकते हैं या ई एस ऐड कर सकते हैं राइट सुनाओ वी विल बी प्रैक्टिसिंग अ लिटल सम मोर एक्सरसाइजेस राइट तो यहां पर दीस यहां पर कुछ वर्ड्स हैं जो सिंगुलर हैं तो उनको प्लूरल में करना होगा प्लूरल हैं तो उनको हमको सिंगुलर में कन्वर्ट करना होगा पहला वर्ड बॉय है तो बॉय का क्या बन जाएगा बच्चों बी ओ वाई एस हम यहाँ पे एस ऐड करेंगे काइट्स है तो हम एस रिमूव कर देंगे और क्या बन जाएगा काइट ये ऊपर देखिए यहाँ पे क्या लिखा है बॉल्स बॉल्स का क्या बन जाएगा बॉल्स प्लूरल है तो प्लूरल से हमको इसको सिंगुलर बनाना है राइट तो क्या होगा एस हम हटा देंगे और क्या बन जाएगा ये बी ए एल एल ये बन जाएगा बॉल राइट मैं फिर से लिख देता हूं बॉय था तो हमने क्या किया यहां पे हमने इसमें क्या किया प्लस कर दिया एस का एस हमने ऐड कर दिया टू कन्वर्ट इट इनटू प्लूरल बॉल्स था तो यहां पे हमने क्या किया एस हटा दिया तो बन गया वो बॉल इसी तरीके से काइट है राइट right? काइट्स में से हम क्या करेंगे एस हटा देंगे नाउ यू हैव टू कंप्लीट दिस एक्सरसाइज राइट चिल्ड्रन यू हैव टू कंप्लीट दिस एक्सरसाइज ओके इट्स वेरी सिंपल प्रोवाइडेड यू हैव अंडरस्टूड सो लेट अस रिपीट इट वंस अगेन let us repeat it once again what we need to do to convert a singular into a plural we need to use s or es to convert a singular into a plural right children hope you have enjoyed this session this is a small presentation on english grammar and about vowels and then how to convert singular into plural and plural into singular i'm absolutely sure you would have understood the basics of english which i will be explaining more and more so till then thank you very much and your homework will be sent to you thank you children